The news broke during the network morning shows. We come on the air with some sad news. Breaking news, and it is sad news. Colin Powell has died at the age of 84. I have to say, John, when I got the news, this one really hurts. It just seemed to come out of the blue. I know he was 84, but I think many people didn't even know that he was sick or certainly in the hospital. Colin Powell's death due to complications from COVID came as a shock because he was fully vaccinated. He did, however, suffer from blood cancer and Parkinson's disease, which left him with weakened immunity. He was older and he had a serious underlying immunocompromising condition called multiple myeloma. And those two things together, I'm afraid, set him up for a serious infection. It is still very, very unusual for people who are vaccinated to get a serious case of COVID. The 84-year-old American icon died at the Walter Reed Medical Center, the same renowned facility that treated former President Trump for COVID in 2020. I always knew him to be such a a robust person that to hear that he, he died from COVID really was an, an unbelievable shock to me. Powell's wife Alma was also infected with COVID, but was treated with Regeneron and has recovered. Powell's life started in humble circumstances here in the Bronx, New York, where he grew up in a four-story walk-up that is now a parking lot. His parents were immigrants from Jamaica, and he's still remembered here as a son of the Bronx. Powell's life is legendary. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Secretary of State. Many thought he was a shoe in for president, but Powell never ran. He didn't want to expose himself and his family to that degree of public inspection. He led a fairly private life for someone who was so much in the public eye. <laughs> Here's a little known fact about Powell. He had a great sense of humor. Try to keep up as best you can, Mr. Vice President. Title for title. You're on. On Jay Leno's garage, he and Joe Biden, then the vice president, challenged each other to a drag race. The tributes to this great American soldier statesman are pouring in today. He would want to be remembered as someone who cared about America uh, more than life itself. And God love him. We're just going to miss him terribly, terribly.